federal custody charged with sexually assaulting children at the Galleria and then posting the videos online. This is truly disturbing. And of course, we want to warn you that these allegations, as I mentioned, disturbing. And we want to give you a moment if you need to walk away. ABC 13's Liliana Pearson joining us now live outside the mall. Liliana, uh, the court documents that you've read, the stuff that Meyer and I have seen, just pages and pages of horrific details. It really is, and it was actually fairly difficult to try to read through those documents of exactly what this man is accused of doing to not only one, but at least two children. He's now in federal custody, accused of sexually exploiting children. The court documents tell of a disgusting pattern of assault. They outline four short videos that were posted online showing the sexual assault of two two-year-olds where more than one perpetrator was present. The documents say Arthur Fernandez III had access to both children in the mall because their mothers worked there and would sometimes bring their child when they were unable to get child care. Fernandez worked at a nearby kiosk in the mall and would offer to watch them. It was during those times, we're told, Fernandez would bring the child into a bathroom, assault them, and take videos. In those videos, upwards of seven people could be heard making vulgar comments and could be seen assaulting the child, though only Fernandez is charged. We spoke to the FBI today, who wouldn't comment on the case itself, but did warn parents that, unfortunately, the vast majority of predators are someone you already know. The perpetrators of these crimes are family members, uh, teachers, uh, a member of the community. Oftentimes, we're looking, folks are looking for the monster, the white van pulling up, uh, but it's the person that you know. The videos they took were posted online, and an Australian group investigating child sex crimes found them, alerting the FBI. The the FBI was able to identify one of the children and contact the mother. She was able to identify Fernandez through jewelry and shoes he was wearing in the video. The second child was determined to be related to Fernandez's former boyfriend. That child's mother also identified Fernandez through what he was wearing. The others in the video have not been identified. The FBI says it takes global teamwork to solve these disturbing cases. The more that we do, uh, the more hurt that we can stop, the more folks we can identify that's out there trying to harm children. The FBI did raid Fernandez's home where they confiscated electronic devices and articles of clothing that matched clothes seen in the video. Fernandez was arrested in December and is in federal custody. I'm Liliana Pearson, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Now, if you know of a child or someone that has been a victim of sexual abuse, you're asked to call 911 immediately. You can also go to our webpage, ABC 13, for a list of resources.